Hey guys, Cryptos here, and today I'm going to be teaching you <coughs> how to summon, I mean, no, how to get a um, an item with a custom name, lore, and enchantments through the give command. Um, the item in question today is Mad Maker's Sword. So, as you can see, I've uh, just given myself a sword. Uh, it's called Mad Maker's Sword, sharpness 10, knockback 5, fire aspect 10. And then it's got two lines of lore, a fine sword from a fine PvP -er, and PvP away. So um, obviously the enchantments work. You can see it's going and I'll just hit this cow. So yeah, that that's um pretty cool. And now let's take a bit of a look at how it works. So I've broken up into bits just so you can learn more easily. Right, the first bit is just to give you uh, the player a diamond sword. So as you can see, I've got give nearest player diamond sword one zero. That's to say, I want one diamond sword, and the data is zero. All right. So next, I've got the name. So yeah, as you can see, I've just summoned Mad Maker's sword. All right. So give nearest player diamond sword one zero, like we had before. And then in between the curly brackets, you can see I've got display colon and then another curly bracket name colon uh, quotation mark and then uh, you can see in there I've got uh, Mad Maker's Sword followed by quotation mark and two curly brackets and um, so yeah that gives you Mad Maker's Sword <laughs> sorry alright now for the lore give nearest player diamond sword one zero like before display like before uh, but in between the curly brackets we've got lore uh, colon square bracket Alright, and this is where you're going to put your law. So that's a quotation mark, and then you put a segment of law in there. And then, yeah, the square bracket and curly brackets. And that's going to give me a sword that says a fine sword from a fine PvP. -er. And um, over here, I've just uh, shown you a little bit of how to get multiple lines of law. You just put a, a comma, and then. Um, in between two, another set of quotation marks you can just write what you want and that's going to give me a diamond sword uh, that says a fine sword from a fine pvp -er and pvp away so uh, that's pretty cool now on to the enchantments give nearest player diamond sword one zero like before uh, but then in the curly brackets we've got inch colon square bracket curly bracket alright so id 16 that's the enchantment id and I believe that's sharpness, um, and then comma to separate LVL, so level, colon 10. So I think that'll give me a sword with sharpness level 10. Yep, see, so sharpness X, sharpness 10. Alright, and in this one, I'm just showing you how to get multiple. You just uh, put a comma after the curly bracket and then repeat what you've just done. This one will give me a sword with. Um, Sharpness 10, uh, knockback 5, and fire respect 10. And you can see it's now got a blue name. Alright, so in the last one, I've combined them all together. So, as you can see, it's quite a long command. So, it's give nearest player diamond sword 10 inch for enchantment, colon, uh, square bracket, color bracket, ID. So, yeah, there's the um, enchantments. Uh, then, display curly bracket name, so there's the name, Mad Maker Sword, and then the lore, a fine sword from a fine PvP -er and PvP away, and that will give me Mad Maker Sword with sharpness 10, knockback 5, fire aspect 10, and with the lore, a fine sword from a fine PvP -er and PvP away. Alright, so I hope this has been an informative tutorial and um, that it helps you out. If you like this video, like and subscribe, and that's all.